What's up brothers, this is Corey from Lion Dads. I got another little quick video for you guys. As you can see, I've kind of changed up my environment a little bit. I've moved into the car to do these videos. Just a better, more efficient use of my time. At home, it's kind of hard to sneak away, get down, record a video real quick. Find time, I got kids, you know, you got the family going, the family things going on. So it's just a better use of my time to do it on my commute. So today's video, I'm gonna shift it up a little bit. I'm, maybe, it, everything's got on my channel something to do with, you know, the dad life and up in your game as a dad. And I know a lot of that because I feel personally that a lot of it starts with how, the way you fuel your body. I've noticed you get your diet dialed in, you get your diet right, and everything kind of falls in line after that or it helps you make yourself fall in line after that. But I wanna talk about some of the stuff that I've seen on some groups that I'm in on social media or some posts I've seen that seem to be a lot of uh, excuse making and a lot of guys kind of just having a hard time taking accountability uh, for the things that they got going on. So, I went through an epiphany point in my life where I had, you know, I was out of shape, I was in bad health, I made a lot of excuses about it, and it, you know, and that caused some other areas of my life to kind of not be as optimal as I would have liked them to be. You know, my mental health wasn't always as clear, um, my fitness, my health, all that stuff. It affected my work performance sometimes, it would affect different things in my life and I had to sit one day I was just thinking about all these problems and it just came to my realization that you know everything that's wrong in my life is my fault you know I'm not free and clear from any blame in anything that's wrong in my life and I think a lot of guys have a hard time coming to grips with that, you know, taking that accountability and saying, you know, man, I really should work to level up myself. And the rate, the reason things maybe aren't going so great for me is because I haven't put in the work and I haven't done the things to optimize my life and optimize my value as a man and make things better. You know, so I sat here, I was sitting there and I was, you know, fat and out of shape and in bad health and not feeling good. And, you know, my diet sucked. I wasn't content with my work situation. All these different factors, right? I uh, wasn't feeling like I was setting the best example for my family, for my kids, my wife and everybody. And, you know, being a traditional guy, I guess I am. That's what I feel my role is, you know. I feel like I'm the first line people come to me for guidance and support, you know. I'm the one that the people in my house look at when they need to know what to do next. And if I'm fat and I'm out of shape and I'm unhappy and I'm pissed off all the time and I'm stressed from work and all this kind of stuff, how can I be that example? I wouldn't go ask that guy who's not in the most optimal state, you know, not happy with his life. I'm not going to go ask that guy for advice, but I had no one to blame. You know, I had put myself in some really good positions, but I had put myself in some really bad positions too and made some mistakes and made some poor life choices, you know, and you know, are there things that happen to you that are out of your control? Maybe a little bit, um, maybe things going back to your childhood or you know, a previous life experience, you know, yeah, there are things that happen to people that are out of their control, but it's, it's your job to work through that, you know, it's your job to make the choices in life to say, okay, I need to move on from this, I can't sit and dwell on certain things, you know, that have happened in my past or whatever, I need to move on from that, you got to take steps to improve yourself every aspect of your life, whether stuff was in your control or not. You know, something happens to you that's out of your control, that's fine. You know, it 
it happens to everybody, some worse than others, but it's your job now to figure out how to move on from that because it's not fair to the people around you that depend on you that their lives have to suffer because something you can't move on from. So to me, my first choice was, all right, what's my biggest problem? What's my biggest thing that I'm dissatisfied and unhappy with? It's the way I feel and the way I look. I was sitting there, I was fat and out of shape and unhappy, feeling like crap. And so the first thing I did was fix the way I eat. You know, I had tried out working a bad diet for years and years and years, really my whole life. It doesn't work. It's not realistic to expect that you can go in there and go to the gym and bust your ass for a long time and come out and eat a bunch of crap and everything's gonna be great. That's not the way it really works. So, that was the first thing I fixed and I noticed that everything kind of falls in line once I did that, you know, my energy went up and now I have the energy to attack other things in my life. I have the confidence to go out and attack other things in my life. I was able to make choices and decisions that would go out and because I didn't feel horrible and I didn't feel like I looked horrible, I was able to make choices and decisions that I would have been not confident in doing, you know, just a year or two before that. If you're not content with your work situation, that's another thing. I was in I was not content with my work situation. I needed a change. I had to finally have the courage to sit down with people in my company and people in my organization and say, "Look, man, this isn't working for me." You know, I hear all the time that I'm this valued employee and all this stuff, but I'm sitting here, I'm not content, I'm not happy. I feel that I'm not being utilized to the best of my ability. I need to be put somewhere where I can be or I gotta find something else. And you know what they did? They found something for me. They helped me out. They took me and they said, all right, we're gonna put you in this position where you're more willing to succeed or able to succeed and we'll see how that goes. So that led to me having more job satisfaction, being more productive, you know, it's all about being honest with yourself and it's all about being honest with the people around you. But you have to be the one to make the change. You can't sit here in the state you're in if you're not happy, if you're not motivated, if you're not healthy, and expect change to come to you. Change isn't going to come to you. You know, the biggest thing you're going to realize is nobody cares about your problems. You know, the people around you, do they care about you? I'm not saying your wife doesn't care about you. I'm not saying mom and dad don't care about you. I'm not saying your kids don't care about you. But a lot of them look to you for support and for guidance. And they're part of your, they're your responsibility. They don't care about your problems if they're not eating. They care about them not eating. Society doesn't care about you if you're fat and you're out of shape and you're broke and you're unhappy and everything out else, you know, they'll find the next guy to help them out. If you go into a job interview and you're mopey and you're fat and you're out of shape and you're feeling sorry for yourself in there and you're like, I really need this job. I'm so unhappy. They're going to, they don't care. They're going to find the next guy. They're going to find somebody who's going to fit in and looks like he's striving to be his best. So it's up to you. That's the one thing. When I had this conversation with myself and when I came to this realization, I understood nobody cares about me. No one's coming to save me. Everything in my life is my fault and it's up to me to fix it. It sounds, when you say it, like a lot of pressure and it sounds negative and it sounds like this and it sounds like that. The fact of the matter is, it was the most freeing moment of my life. It was the moment where I was finally, okay, I realize everything's in my hands. I can't sit, I can't wait for anybody else because you can sit and wait a lifetime for somebody else. And I came out on the other side more hopeful and optimistic for the future than I ever have been in my entire life. Because I know that it's all up to me 
Only I can fix myself and help and save myself. And now I don't have to sit and wait for some savior to come along and help me out and fix my problems. And now that shows me because I trust myself and I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of. It gave me the confidence of knowing that I am probably gonna attack those areas of my life and make things better and my life is gonna get better and I am gonna fix myself. And every time I do improve on an area of my life, my confidence just grows and grows and grows and grows. That's what it takes, that's what you have to do. You have to sit down, you have to be honest with yourself, you have to hold yourself accountable and you have to take the responsibility of fixing your own issues. And to me, it all starts in the kitchen with what you eat. The first thing you should focus on is your health because it's really at the end of the day the most valuable thing you've got. Your health, your fitness is the most valuable thing you can build. Everything else from there, you'll get the confidence to help it fall in line. So that's all I got for today. I just wanted to share this video with you guys. As always, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. I got links to all my social, Twitter, Facebook, all that crap in the uh, comments or in the description. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. Let me know ways I can help you guys out. More videos coming in the future, hopefully a lot more frequently now that I'm doing them here in the mobile studio with some free time to myself as I commute. And that's it. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.